anything set for a kettlebell boot camp. Cardio conditioning sessions can be strength and conditioning because it's kettlebells. You know, you're working all the different energy systems. We're working from some upper, some lower, some core, some cardio, some coordination, some stability, some balance. So you, what you need for this workout is just two kettlebells. We don't have kettlebells, just two dumbbells. It should be pretty much light to medium on the kettlebells. If you have different options for weights, depending on what exercise we're doing or if we're holding it up overhead or you're holding it here, we do all kinds of different holds while you're doing stuff with the other arms. So get a couple of different options out of weights so you could switch it up on the fly. If you start something and it's just too heavy, go down to the light. You just right on the fly, just switch it up, go to a lighter one. It's too easy. Jump up to the heavy ones. I'm just gonna grab a couple different options here of light and medium and heavier. And get these thumbs. <laughs> Great, you're gonna have two oranges. I guess I'm not getting any lighter. All right, so before we get started, because a lot of them are gonna be holding one kettlebell in each hand. So you need two weights or one dumbbell in each hand, whatever it is. To get started, to get warmed up, we're just gonna hit one kettlebell. I'll start with just one, and we're just gonna hit some basic exercise with a stretch in between. So let's just start with a double arm swing right here. Whipping up with the hips. Literally, we're just doing five, just to get started so you can learn the exercise. There's a double arm swing. Put that down. We're just gonna stretch our quads now. Alternating sides on the quads. One to three seconds each side. That's it, stretching the quad, getting the hips ready, getting the move. We're gonna be moving up and down. We're doing Hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of freaking reps today with dozens of sets. So we need to get these ready. All right, let's go to single arm swing. Just five each side, simple. We're just getting the, the motions down, greasing up your freaking joints, and learning the movements if you don't need no. Just five each side. Single arm swing. Breathe it out. Stand up straight. Place it down, and we're just gonna fling the chest open. In and out, right arm on top, right arm on bottom. Just alternating that, just fling it loose and catch it for a stretch. Right above the elbow, fling it, catch the other side for a stretch. Open it, catch it, stretch it. Open it, catch it, stretch it. One more time each side. And we're going right back to the kettlebell. We're going to the clean, that's the bottom half, just right here, whipping it up five times, each side. This is very, should be very easy. Just getting you warmed up. Five on the right, five on the left. Whip it up, and good. Get going to knee hugs, all same knee hugs. You can pull the knee straight up to the chest or a little angle out if you want. Want to get more hip and glute, just alternating knee hugs. Get that knee up there. Stretching the hips, getting them ready. You're gonna be doing Tons of swings, cleans, presses, cleans of presses, snatches, push presses, mixed in with different, vari different variations every set. We're gonna do about 40, 50, 60, I don't even know how many sets today, go right to a hamstring stretch. And every single set is gonna be different. We're not gonna repeat any set the entire time. Complete different variations for the entire workout. So pay attention. You're watching it live, you gotta stay on your freaking toes. It's a recording, you, have to, you could just pause it. All right, let's get that kettlebell back up. We're doing clean to press. Flip it up and press, right there. Flip, dip, punch it. Clean to press, five each side. Breathe it out, whip it, snap, dip, snap, up. One more. And fling right over to the left side. Five, flip, Dip and snap. So you're going down, up, down, up. Throw that sucker in the air. Two more. And good. We're going wide, forward, shoulder circles while you're walking forward. Reverse shoulder circles while you're walking backwards. Jackass. Fling them, fling them, fling them. Forward, coming forward. And back. Coming back. Forward. And back. All right, we're going right to a kettlebell snatch. So, so the clean to press was a two count, stop in the middle. Snatch goes from bottom to top in one shot. No stop in the middle. Faster pace, more explosive. 
Whip it up. Control it down. So it's size. And good. Put your hands behind your back. Fingers spread open. Grab in your own ass. We're gonna lean over to get that little hamstring stretch at the bottom, little knee bend, and come up, and extend the hips without arching lower back. Just straighten this hip out to open this hip up, but at the same time, stretch this chest and shoulder. So you get a little dip at the bottom and stretch without arching lower back at the bottom. Or at the top of me. Alright, shake it, shake it, shake it. Do what you gotta do. All right, as we're getting loosened up, we're gonna pick up the pace of this workout. So we're gonna start, you need two kettlebells. Don't forget, you need two kettlebells. All we're starting with is single arm swings. Some of these we're gonna try a couple of variations and some of them, if you don't like the way it feels, you just skip it and you move on to something else. We're going single arm swing, but you need both kettlebells. So one kettlebell is gonna be stuck in the shoulder rack you need to pack that in there while you're swinging the other kettlebell. What? So we're tucking it in here. So you got to tighten up those abs and that core and whip it up. Whip it. We're going about 10 or just stop when I stop. And we're switching. So now clean the right side. Get it packed in there, suck it in, stabilize that right side, whole different feel than you normally get with these swings. If you need lighter, grab lighter, if you need heavier, grab heavier, you probably don't need fucking heavier. That's just kind of weird. We're gonna try this out. I don't know if it's gonna work with this weight, we're gonna give it a shot. We're sticking with single arm swings, mm -hmm. except the opposite arm is gonna hold the weight straight overhead while you're swinging. So you may need to do a little more of a vertical swing and not so much hip hinge. If it has to be a little more of a squat, play around with it, see what works. Listen, when you get into a fight, do you think you're gonna be able to do everything picture perfect? That's what kettlebells simulate almost, fighting. I might punch him. He might grab me and try to take me down. Yank on my arm and just start twisting it in some weird direction. Yeah, I don't know where this arm is going to go. Everything doesn't have to be picture perfect. So we're going to have a little fun and get a little crazy and a little stupid. And we're going to see what happens. If it's too heavy, it's too heavy. You go lighter. All right, let's try it out. So clean the left side. Press the left side. Bicep by your ear. Stabilize that shoulder. Locked. And the right side, that's a little heavy, but. We're gonna do five of each. Cause that shit was heavy. But if you can't do the swing, look, check this out. Just get a squat, partial squat, however low you can go with keeping this weight overhead. Get a partial squat and swing it. And reset. The swing is actually the hardest one to hold overhead because you're swinging it in front of you. The other one's gonna be a little different because it's a clean, clean to press where it's going in the same plane at least. All right, this round you only need one kettlebell because this one's we're breaking it up. You're gonna hold that in your chest. Two jacks, two double arm swings because all these other sets are very functional and slow. They're fucking hard. And we'll get your heart rate up. But we need some faster paced stuff in between. So right here, two jacks, right into two double arm swings. All right, so two jacks, don't whack yourself in your teeth, unless you got a good dental plan. Two jack, two double arm swing. No, like your insurance covers dental. It covers all your bills for your dental. Because it's gonna be expensive to fix. It when you bash your fucking kettlebell into your face. 
Whip it. Find a flow. I like to fucking sword from yesterday. Feels good. Suck it up. Two double arm swing, full swings. Secure the weight of your chest. Two jacks. Two swings. Two jacks. And good. For now, a half a second. This next set is going to be double arm, or sorry, single arm, but with the two kettlebells, swinging two reps each arm. So you're going to hold the left down without cracking it for two swings. Let's do it. So get a wide, little wider stance than normal, almost like a sumo stance. Check it out. We're going to swing right for two. Swing left for two. Stabilize the downside. Right for two. And from now for a second. You see, there's a very technical, functional sets. So we just hit them. Short little break and right on to the next one because there's so many different variations. This one, same game. You're going to try and get the flow. It's just one swing right, one swing left. It's actually going to be harder than the two because the two you get stabilized a little better. So you're going to go one on one. One right, one left. Whip it. Need a ton of them to get the effects. We're doing so many sets, but it breaks time. Pick, you could either stop when I stop or just pick a number. Four each side, five each side, six each side, whatever the hell you want, depending on how much weight you have. Your weight's too light, go a little longer. Do what you gotta do. Stretch those quads, you're keeping it moving in between. Staying active, moving around. We're about to go right to the next round. We're going to cleans. Cleans are coming up. So the swings are done, except for the in-between rounds that we do jacks and the double arm swings. Just keep the heart rate up. That swing round is completely done. Now we're going to repeat all those variations, but now with the clean, the bottom half. So we're starting off. We're actually going to add this down variation for just single arms. So you're holding the one weight down. I'm going to clean with the right arm while the right left arm stays down. Check it out. And I'm just cleaning right for a full set of 10. Shift the control that other side. Go to 10 ish. 10 ish is a number. I mean, stop when I say stop. And if you need to, if your grip needs a break, look, put them down for half a second. Scoop the suckers back up, stabilize the right side, and clean the left side. one side in the shoulder rack while the other side is cleaning. Ten each side. Let's do it. So get them both here. You could double arm clean them just to get set up. So they're both in the rack. Huh? Mm -hmm. You going? Yeah. Oh, cool. Alright, so right arm is going to clean only for ten while left arm is racked. Left arm is locked in place. It's not taking a rest. It's still working there. Pumping it up. Strong grip. It's shit like this, which is why I have some kind of deathly grip. It'll crush your skull. Training different. Training odd. Training functional. And switch sides. Right arm is locked in that rack position. Ten on the left. Three 
three more. Whip it, stabilize that right side, and whip with the left. So you're having to keep your body tight on one side. There's a lot of control going on. A lot of mastering of your machine, of your body going on. And shit loads of work going on. Heart rate should be getting up. You're working your upper, your lower, your core. Coordination, your balance, your shifting of your weight. You should feel like you're getting fucking pumped up. All right, we're gonna go with cleans. I'm gonna try these a little heavier than I've done these before. We're gonna see what happens. It works, it works, but doesn't, it doesn't. Holding the opposite side straight up. Look, straight up doesn't mean here or even here. It's gotta be a straight line for your body. It means your bicep needs to be all the way back here by your ear. If you can't get that all the way back there, if it's too tight or too stiff, do what you gotta do. Stretch some more. You need more range, range of motion, more mobility. All right, let's do it. So we're gonna put left arm all the way up, right arm clean. So let's clean them both together to start. Both together, flip them and clean them. Now we're gonna push press the left arm up and lock it. Lock that fucker in place. Now keep it there and clean the right side. These overhead ones, we're just doing five of each. Five right cleans, let's go. Look, you don't need a big power dip when that weight's overhead, it's kinda hard. To get low, you just whip it, look at that. It works. If you get the right dip and flip, it's easy. I'm gonna go to 10, I'm feeling good with this little dip. Four more. Lots going on in your body, in your core and hips and glutes and abs. Bring it down. This one we're gonna regroup. Stand up. Forearm's gonna start feeling, the grip's gonna start fucking feeling. So I got the Michael Jackson thing going on. Heard he was a good kettlebeller. Flip it up, double snap, double clean. Push press the right up. Stabilize and clean the left, go. Going to 10. Look, a little dip is all you need. Stabilize that right side. Lots going on here. Such a small, Movement, but my whole body's fucking working to keep this. And cranking my heart rate up. And it's fucking hot out here. Three more, I think. Fucking bad one, I don't even know what I'm on. Stabilize that right side. Whatever. When in doubt, fucking do more. Put them down, shake those arms out. Hell yeah. All right. Next is gonna be two cleans each. It's going to be from the rack position. We're going to clean right for two and clean left for two. Got it? So this round's a little longer than the swing. The swing round is just to get going. There's actually more options, more variations we can do with the cleans, and it flows better. Cleans coming up. Two right, two left. Holdings. Alternating. Hold the rack position. Up, guys. Stretch, stretch. Keep on stretching. All right, let's do it. You see there's no real break because there's a mini break in between every set. There's a single set because there's so much going on and then you need a recovery in order to be structurally ready for every fucking set. All right, scoop them up. Let's go double arm clean, double clean. We're gonna alternate two and two. So dip, two with the right, two with the left. Two right. Now it's going to be the same thing, except we're going to hold the bottom position, and it's going to be one on one. Tyson, they put that over one and get it, because otherwise it will melt if it's bars. So one, one, one on one, cleans, alternating, but we're going to hold it from the bottom position. All right, let's do it. That was your break. Yay. Enjoy. So you're still holding both. Straight down, posture, locked, dip. Right, 
Flip. Boom. Left. One and one. Minimum of six each side. If you're feeling good, get a little more. There's three. Four. We're going 80 side. We're feeling good. It's pretty easy compared to the other shit. Six. Six. Fuck it, we're going to Teddy's side. Seven. What? It's easy. I mean, not easy, but it's doable. Eight. Change your shit up on the fly. Make it harder if you need to. Compared to the other exercise, this one actually flows and you can do it for longer than nine. nine. And nine. And I need ten on right. Ten on left. And time. Right away, we're going to the jacks. The two jacks and two double arm swings. Same as we did before. Skip this and sprint. Two jacks, and then you're gonna get a little mini break before we go to the clean to press racks. That's gonna be even fucking harder. So right here, two jacks, two, two, double arm swing for two. Back to your chest, two jack, two swing, one, two, swing, one, two, to your chest, one, two, drop. You know, at least six sets of these. That's, this is four, I think. We're going to ten. That's five. Fuck it. We're getting a break coming up. We're going to ten. Here's six. Or seven. I don't even know. Fuck it. Just keep going. Let's see if we stop. Three more. Just for the hell of it. Two. Nice, run around. Huh? Run around. Run around, put it down. Okay. I thought you were going to open it. Time. Oh, boy. Shake it, stretch it. Clean the press is coming up. Woo. Same game. No. Suckers. Russian. Stop freak. Awesome. No, actually, I can't right now. What do you mean, no, actually? Fucking lame. Clean the press coming up. Clean the press. Mama. Hmm? For a quest, it's good. All right. So all those same variations. All those same variations. Now we're doing clean to press. It's gonna be hard on that overhand hold, but you know we're gonna start with the shoulder rack first. Let's do it. All right. Get both weights. Double clean them. Hold the left arm, stabilize at the rack. Right arm. A set of at least five to six, clean to press. See how it goes. Flip, dip, punch it. This one's not too bad because it's straight up and down. The swing, it actually was the hardest one so far. to maintain. Especially for the overhead one, it was like impossible. I know. For this weight that I'm using at least. So we're feeling good here. We're going to go 10 each side. Well, the problem is, I don't know how many that was. Five or six? Let's say five. Let's just say nine. I'm going to the fourth one only. What? Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. This one we're going to put down just for that split second in between. Yeah. It's not a break. It's not a rest unless you really need it. It's just get out of that position. Good deep breath. Spit chunks all over the place. Scoop them up. 
Double clean. Rack this right side while we clean and press left side. Go. Ten. Stabilize that right side. Get that dip if you can. Look, a little dip. I don't have to go too low because there's extra weight to carry. But I can still dip to get some momentum. Fuck, it wasn't here, right? Four. There's five. Four more. Four more. Two more. seconds just to clear that out shake your hips your back get those shoulders ready because the one side is gonna be holding that straight overhead while you clean and press the other side and listen even something like this it's so technical so functional so many different moving parts and balance and counterbalance if you can only do two or three each side it's still fucking work we're gonna try for five let's see what happens let's see what happens show What happens? Let's see what, what happens. What are you doing, buggy, going down the street? That's like all over here. Alright, let's do it. Get them both up safely. Don't just flop over to pick them up. Double clean. Push press, left side up. Stabilize. Clean to press, right side. For five, let's go. Dip, flip. It's not that bad if you don't do too big of a dip. Still gonna stick with five. So much going on here in your hips and core and glutes. That's the fucking one for three or four. Let's get one more. This one fucking me. We're literally putting it down. Stay up straight. Deep breath. Pick them back up. Say, look, I'm not gonna flop over to pick them up and then I'm fucking your back up, picking them up and putting them down. You know, that's what most injuries happen with weightlifting is picking the weights up to start the set or putting them down when you're done with the set, not even the set itself. So with control, I'm scooping them up. Double clean. Bam. Right arm, that's this side that I'm twitching to. <laughs> Stabilize. Push press, lock it up. And clean to press, left side. We gotta go six, I think I might have done six on the other side. So there's three. Last one. Down together, control, place it down, under control. Shake it! All right, we're gonna go alternating, clean to press, to each side, holding from the shoulder rack. So one holds that shoulder rack. Actually, we're holding it from down, sorry. Both holding down, so it's gonna flow better. Clean to press right for two, while the left holds down. Clean to press left for two. Two and two, suckers, let's go. Let's do it. Scoop those motherfuckers up. Flip, dip. Clean and press one on the right. Clean and press two on the right. Clean and press one on the left. Clean and press two on the left. Let's go back and forth. Six sets each. Jeez, I just spit chunks. A second dip if you can, right here. Dip. While you're controlling the weight that's hanging down. It's like you have big donkey balls hanging down. I think I just did one of them. Keep rolling. Control it down time. Right, we're gonna go one on one. Hey, fuck that, we should have done it on a rack for two. But we're gonna go one on one. Holding it down low. Your grip, your arms should be pumped, your shoulders from those overheads. Your legs should be working. If not, you're not holding tight enough, you're not squeezing tight enough. Take this shit serious. All right, one on one. Pick them up with control. Let's go. Clean press right for one. Clean press left. Dip, punch. Six each side. Two. Two. Hurry. Flip, dip, punch it up. Dip. Bam. Is that four? Five? That's five. There's 
Six. We're going to eight. We're feeling good. Here comes seven. This is the last set of clean to press. Yeah. One more. Each side. Place it now. Right away. As that finishes that segment. Oh, we got the two jacks. And two double arm swings. Suck it the fuck up. Okay. Let's go. Two jacks. Two double arm swings. That heart rate jacked. Let's go. We're flowing. One, two, drop. Your chest. One, two, dip. Both. Ha. One, two. Shake it, stretch it, hydrate, do what you gotta do. We have freaking snatches coming up. The sun just sucks your head. The same rotation, snatches coming up. Snatch round. Snatch, you know, we did it in the warm up. Going from bottom to top. And one count. Whipping it, snapping it up. We're going to start from the holding the opposite side at the clean position. So, whatever side's working or snatching, the opposite side will clean. And then we're going to give it a shot. It's going to be fucking hard, especially depending on the weight you have. We are gonna hold it overhead while you're snatching the other side. Gonna be a tough one, but we're gonna make it happen and figure it out. Let's roll. Last little shake of the legs. He's young, he the arms, and let's do it. Don't forget this round you're holding the shoulder racks. You're gonna clean them up. Bring them up with control. Double arm clean. We're gonna keep the left side. Actually, we didn't need to double arm that. Waste of energy. We're gonna hold this left side here in the clean position in the shoulder rack while we snatch the right arm. Let's go for five and we'll take it from there. Ah, oh, we could do 10 here. This one's good. Holding overhead maybe is gonna to be tough, but holding at the rack, we're gonna go 10. Five more. Brace those abs. Listen that left side supporting that left arm shoulder rack. Control them down. Just to stand up straight. Big deep breath. Take those motherfuckers back right back up. You're gonna hold the left arm straight down, clean the right side, lock it, shoulder rack it, pack it in there, and snatch left side. Ten times. Five more. Bring him down under control. We take a couple seconds here because first of all that was hard, and second of all, this is gonna be fucking harder. Holding the opposite side. Locked out straight overhead while you're snatching it. Let's aim for five each side and see what happens and go from there. Fuck yeah. Do it. Let's go. 
let's do it. Maybe the camera's frozen. Maybe the internet's slow connection is frozen. Yeah. Alright. I'll just wait for you guys to reconnect. <laughs> Alright, scoop those motherfuckers up. Get them here. Let's get them in the top, or, or one of them in the top position. So let's go left arm, clean, dip, press, stabilize, and let's snatch with the right arm, the down arm. You're only going to be able to get a little dip, so you're going to have to learn how to get this. Oh, look at that. There we go. That's getting every inch of your body. We're going to five side because they're fucking hard. Oh, yeah. And we're going to put them down for a second. shit going on in here when you're doing this stuff. All kinds of stabilization and balance, control, counterbalance. Good stuff. This is how you strengthen up your core. This is how you get a functional core that supports you. It's how you get a supportive, a real strong core. Not just a powder puff core. When shit gets a little hard, you crumble under the fucking pressure and act like it's so brutal when it's not. All right, let's go. Hold up. We are gonna clean the right arm. Settle it in, push press the right arm. Stabilize it up there. See what you got left arm. Five, five snatches. Go. Stabilize that right. Fuck. Oh yeah, lots going on. Control your fucking body. Master your body, be a master of you, of your mind, of your body, and of your business. And listen, this is why fitness is one of the, the pillars of the project. You know it's the family, the fitness, the finance, and the faith. Because you should be focused on your fitness just as much or even more as those other pillars. And not just, of course, your physical fitness, but also your mental fitness and your emotional fitness. Like controlling yourself. Having self-discipline. That is fitness. Self-discipline is fitness. Of course, Discipline in your nutrition and not shoveling a bunch of shit into your pie hole is also fitness. So when we say fitness in the project, it's an umbrella statement covering all of that. Really meaning self-discipline is what it means by fitness because self-discipline is physical fitness, mental fitness, and emotional fitness. All falls under self-discipline, which all falls under the umbrella of fitness as an F-bomb in the project. But let's talk about strictly the physical fitness side. Men, you're not meant to have fucking tits. You're not meant to have a, a, a gut that sticks so far out that you can't even see what the fuck's going on down there. Playing with a little wiener, you don't even see it. Like, it's not, you're not meant to be like that. It's not even funny. It's funny, but it's fucking sad that it's funny. You're meant to be fit. You're meant to be strong. You're meant to fucking maximize your body, the human body. It's a machine. Fucking use it. Take care of it. Like, holy fuck. See, so many fucking slobs just walking around the streets. And that's what we do in the project is fucking forget about we yeah we unfuck you. Yeah, we could work through some self-limiting beliefs, but we unfucking slobberate you, is what we do. From the slob that you are in all areas of life, in your mindset, in your fitness, in your body, in your family, in your fucking finances. And again, finances doesn't just mean having a budget. I guess, that's not your finances. Finances is the umbrella statement for how much you focus on your career, building your business, multiple streams of income. That's what we're talking about, about finances. So it's not just, oh, I have, a, I have a budget and I track my finances and I'm good at balancing my checkbook. That's not all there is to fucking finances. That's some day one nerd shit, okay? That's not even, that's the least important. It's what are you doing to grow your fucking business? What are you doing to make some more money, generational wealth? That's what we're doing in the freaking project. Let's roll, I hope it stalled long enough. What are we doing? Did we do overhead for snatch yet? Both? Yeah, we did overhead both. Oh, okay. so we're good. So snatch is now alternating to right, to left, holding bottom position. So bring them up with control. Snatch right for one, two. Snatch left for two. We're going six rounds. Left for two. Let's go third round. Right, I think. Left. Two 
two more each. Two more of two more each. Oh shit, it did come twice. Two more of two. Left. There's five. And five. Motherfucker, six. And six. I'll throw this fucking thing. And six. I almost like a little bit flinging it up. And six. We're down to control. Ah! All right, now you know what we gotta do. What's next? I've been paying attention one. to the thing. Huh? Each. One and one. Good shit. Little freak show kid following along. That's also part of the project. Having a role model mindset. Operating, knowing that all eyes are on you. You're always on fucking parade. Everything you're doing. So you become a fat fucking slob with lactating breasts. So does your son. Literally, sometimes. Fuck. The way things go. But you are the role model. You're what they're following. You're the example they're following. You're working... 15 hours a day and not even making enough money to make it worth it, where there is no amount of money that's worth that, but making shit money, getting home fucking exhausted, tired, pissed off, taking all that negative energy into your house. What a fucking waste of a life. And then you're too tired, you're sitting there on the couch watching fucking Netflix or, or reruns of fucking Beavis and Butthead while you're picking lint out of your belly button that looks like it's a fucking volcano. And then you wonder why you're Kids are doing stupid shit, doing a bunch of fucking drugs, hanging out with a bunch of losers, getting fat themselves, getting stupider as the days go on because they're influenced by the stupid internets and YouTubes and the dumb kids out there, or even a fucking crazy or more serious fucking note. You're not doing your fucking job and they end up going to do some stupid violent shit or whatever. And then you want to blame your guns. There's no, nothing to blame guns about. Blame your fucking self for how you're dealing with the people around you, the people you're responsible for. That's what the project is about. That's what the family pillar of the project is about. Get your fucking shit together. Don't fuck it up. Let's go. One on one. Let's do it. Snatch right. Going six each side. Two. Whip it up. Bottom to top. One count. There's three. And three. Reach. No. Five. Right? And five, seven, one, six, or one more each. Put it down, we got our two jacks, two double arm swings. Burn out the round. Go. One. Two. Whip it. We're going six times. Six rounds. Jack, jack up that heart rate. Snap the hips, squeeze the glutes. Reach the core, there's three, halfway there. Come on, where are we at? I'm having a hard time counting today. Let's do one more just to be sure. I can't count the fucking six today. Nine. What comes after five? Shake it. Stretch it. Do what you gotta do. 43. We're gonna work out. All right, check this out. <clears throat> After a little quick breather, we're gonna do a burnout round. Yeah! All it's gonna be, pay attention, because it's gonna be rotating through everything we did. One squat thrust, two, one squat thrust, two double arm swing. One squat thrust, two right arm swing, one squat thrust, two left arm swing, one squat thrust, two right arm clean. One squat thrust, two left arm clean. Squat thrust, then one clean to press. Squat thrust, one clean to press left. Squat thrust, one snatch right, one snatch left. So you're doing two double arm swing, two single arm swing, two clean, one clean to press, one snatch per side after each freaking squat thrust. So you're not going to stay with me, we're not going to go for a number, we're going to start together, and we're going to finish together. So go at your own pace, I don't want you rushing through the squat thrust to keep my pace or slowing down just to stay back with me if you're going blazing freaking fast like a little freak show here is going to be doing. Go at your own pace, control the squat thrust, it's the last round of the day. We're going to burn it out. Let's roll. Oh, 
you need one kettlebell. Get the other one totally out of your way and clear. All right, squat thrust. Two double arm swing. Let's go. I'll, I'll go throw slow to the first one. Oh, that's a hot ground. Two double arm swing. Squat thrust. Do fast squat thrust thing. Two right arm swing. Squat thrust. Two left arm swing. Squat thrust. Two cleans. Squat thrust. Two cleans left. Squat thrust. One clean to press right. Squat thrust. One clean to press left. Squat thrust. One snatch right. Squat thrust. One snatch left. Keep rolling. You got that pace? You can do that pace or that rotation on your own pace. Keep going. Let's do it. We don't need a lot of rotations because this is a lot of fucking work. Go. Last round of the day. Suck it the fuck up. We're doing it for a long time here. Two cleans right. Don't flop over the waist, you're gonna hurt your lower back. Swing. Squat thrust. Right arm swing. Squat thrust. To left arm swing. Squat thrust. To right arm clean. To left arm clean. Listen up. If you don't have your shit together, a lot of things we're talking about, and you need some help in your mind, your body, your business, in your leadership, your teamwork, communication, problem solving, or as far as a project is concerned, all that falls under the family, the fitness, the finances, and faith. And when we say faith, we're not necessarily saying religion. If you have a religious faith, that's great. It's going to be obviously a huge asset to you. But in faith, we mean faith in yourself. Belief in yourself. Belief in your ability to figure shit out. Belief in your ability to reach your ultimate fucking goals in all the other F-bombs. And creating true fulfillment for yourself. In your family, your fitness, your finance, your faith. That's what the fucking project is about. The project is starting in class 014. Is this Tuesday. They start. Many, I think it's gonna be our biggest class ever. Because it just costs more and more to run these things. Do you see how the prices of shit goes up with rental vans and gases and all that shit is up through the fucking roof. This is our highest price that we're forced to sell it at. And we're gonna have by far our biggest class. That tells you something about the way men know they need to get their shit together in their family, in their fitness, their physical, mental, and emotional fitness, in their finances, their business, their career, and making, creating generational wealth, investing, creating multiple streams of income. These are all things going on during the project. You might just see all the crazy, fun fitness stuff we're doing out there in the field, but what you don't see is when we're in the classroom, sitting around, going over, around the room, little mini hot seats, 
any marching orders, what each individual needs to do to grow and scale their business or to take their career. If you don't have your own business, if you're not an entrepreneur, you're still a professional. If you work for money, you're a fucking professional. So it's time you start acting like it and learning how to best invest your money, how to start that side gig while you still have your main thing. These are the things that we go over in the finance component of the project. So if you need information, I'll put a link down below in the comments, fill out an application. If you're a good fit, we'll hop on the phone and we'll take it from there to see if you have what it takes to join the MDK Brotherhood, the modern day night brotherhood of the project. So if you have any questions, comments, need help with anything, put it down below or just send me a private message, an email, fucking smoke signal, whatever you need to do. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. We need to give you the hairy knuckle fist bump for all the different cameras. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. Freak show anything you want to tell them to finish off. No excuses! Very, very, very normal child. I can't imagine where you guys are from. We will talk to you later. No excuses.